Hello guys and welcome to Python Programming Tutorials by Amuls Academy. Today in this tutorial we are discussing about how to print stars in alphabetical Y shape. So let's begin with the code. Okay, so this is our output and here we can see stars in different row and column. To print stars in different row and column, we are using two for loop. One is to print stars in the row and another one is to print stars in the column. So here in our code, we can see the two for loops. First for loop is to print stars in the row and next to print stars in the column. And here row and call are the variables. Okay. And here we can see five rows and five columns, right? And here in the range function, I need to mention the number of rows and column. So five rows and five columns. So range is from zero to five. That means it will give output as zero, one, two, three, four. That here we can see, right? Zero, one, two, three, four. Zero, one, two, three, four rows and column. So next we can see if else conditional statement. That is here we want to print stars in alphabetical Y shape. For that we need condition. So we are using if else conditional statement. Here after if keyword, I need to mention the condition. That is in which row and column you want to print star. All right. So for that we need to see the output. So first we'll divide our output into three parts. Okay. Then it will be easy to write the condition for that. So this is my first part. And here we go. This is a second part. This is a third part. Okay. So first we'll see this part. That is we want to print these three stars at column two and row two, row three and row four. So I want star at column two, but at that time row should be greater than one. That is we want to print star only in row two, row three and row four. Okay, so my first condition will be I'll check whether column is equal to two. If it is two, then row should be greater than one. All right, so here I use logical and operator. It's because to print star, I want both this condition to be true. Okay, when column is equal to two, then at that time row should be greater than one. That is row can be two, three or four. It should not be one and zero. That's why I mentioned logical and here. So to print star, both this condition need to be true. Next, I'll take logical or operator. In the case of logical or operator, if any one of the input is true, then output will be true. That is here I'll mention two or more condition, right? So here any one of this condition is true, then it will print star. That's why here logical or operator. Now we are done with these three stars. Okay. So now we need to concentrate on this and this. So we'll take these two stars. So here we can see it is in row zero, column zero, row one, column one. That is when row is equal to equal to column, we want to print star. But at that time, column should be less than two because I want only these two stars, right? So column should be less than two. So when row is equal to column at that time, column should be less than two. This is my second condition. Okay, here I used and because I want both this condition to be true. Here or because here any one of this is true then it will print star okay next we need to print these two stars here you can take two variables i and j and you can assign row value to i and column value to j then you can print star that we done in our previous tutorials here also you can do that or you can directly mention the position because we want only two stars right so 
instead of taking i and j variables here i'll directly mention the position of these stars so this star at row 0 and column 4 and this at row 1 column 3 so here or when row is equal to 0 and column is equal to equal to 4 okay this is my first condition so this is so this condition for to print star here that is row 0 column 4 row 1 and column 3 okay so here i mentioned and because i want both this to be true that is when row is equal to 0 column equal to 4 i want to print star here also same when row is equal to 1 and column is equal to 3 i want to print star that's why i mentioned and here this or is because any one of this condition is true you can print star okay next colon inside the if body we can see print function that is if condition become true then we want to print star okay so print star here we can see end is equal to empty string that is in the print function by default end value will be slash n if i didn't mention end here then it will take end value as slash n so after printing stars it will go to the next line but here i don't want that here after printing this star i want the control to be here only okay that's why i mentioned end is equal to empty string and next if this condition become false then control go to the else part and it will print space that is now we wrote the condition to print stars that is we mentioned the row and column where we want to print star but in some row and column we want to print space also right because of that we wrote the else part and next inside the first for loop we are using print function that is this this is for new line that is after printing stars in one row we want to go to the next line to print remaining stars that is here after printing this row i want to go to next line after printing this row i want to go to next line so in each row we want new line for that this print function is used okay inside the first for loop we are done with our code so we need to save this next run this so here we can see stars in alphabetical y shape all right okay that's it for now thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe my channel i'll meet you in next class till then take care